What's up, everyone? Jeremy here, mtgheadquarters.com. Now bringing you a new series, well, newer. I continue to force through and to see if you guys are being entertained by it, although they continue to be the least engaging videos. I mean, people watch them less than, obviously, a Tempest unboxing. But I hope you're enjoying them, and I hope they're helpful. Um, that's really the main reason. I'm trying to figure out a format that just works and um, the first these Fridays, I think I'm just doing the best I can, helping you draft better. Um, obviously, the best would have, you know, eight people at a table and blah, blah, blah. But I still think there's a lot of value there. And same with their sealed Saturdays. So um, if you don't get much sealed deck building help or, you know, value out of it, at least we can you can enjoy cracking packs. And so that's how I'll structure these videos. I'll crack the packs. Just go through the, you know, uncommons and rares. I'll color sort, and then we'll get back, and I'll show you what deck I would build. <clears throat> Troll Hide's very good. Nefalia Sea Kite, good. Deadly Recluse is really good. Very good green pack. Nice thing about Elvish Mythic, nice thing about Sealed is you don't have to worry about things wheeling. Battle Sliver, Green Red's looking pretty saucy. Phantom Warrior, oh, an Ogre Battle Driver, okay. There's enough stuff in this first pack to go green red and never look back. I mean, Academy Raider. Jeez. That's an excellent green red aggro pack. I don't like to pigeonhole myself that quickly, but I mean, damn. <laughs> All right. Frost Breath, Sentinel Sliver, Marauding Mulhorn, another good green red aggro card. Oromancer, Spore Mound, Death Gaze, Cockatrice, Voracious Worm, Gnawing Zombie, Singer Vampire, Zathrid Necromancer is our rare. That card's no joke. So we got two really strong black cards back to back. Uh, we've been through two packs though, we don't have any removal. You know, if I'm playing black, I'm, I want at least like four pieces of removal. You know, otherwise, I mean, that's just me, okay. Oh boy, green red is just going nuts. Chandra's Outrage, Pacifism's really good. Fortify is a blowout. Alvish Mystic, Shrivel. I just won a draft on, based on Shrivel. I won the final round. Spell Blast, Gnawing Zombie. Elixir of Immortality, which is, I think, underrated in draft, but maybe not in sealed. Seraph of the Sword is excellent. Um... 3-3 three, three flyer that, you know, doesn't deal with any, doesn't take any combat damage, can just stand alone and win you the game. It dies to plummet, it dies to, you know, removal, it dies to direct damage. A Cursed Spirit, very underrated card. Fire Cat, Hive Stirrings, Advocate of the Beast. Quag Sickness, so that, we got another Academy Raider. Shiv's Embrace, excellent. Megantic Sliver, Dark Favor. Megantic Sliver is good if you have a couple other Blur Slivers even. Um, and Green Red Aggro, I'd play it. I wouldn't force Slivers at this point based on what I'm seeing. White's coming on strong though, Master Diversion, Shock, Time Ebb, Dark Favor, Giant Spider, Spore Mound, Act of Treason, oh yeah, Wild Guess. I've been playing more and more of this card, actually. Bubbling Cauldron, Colonian Tusker, and Enlarge, and Siphon sl Sliver. Two more excellent green-red aggro cards. Um, I think, based on the cards that I've gone through here, I mean, black is pretty good, uh, white's pretty good, but green-red aggro seems pretty good. A Chris Spirit. Negate, Vow, Rebirth, Messenger Drake is good. Mark of the Vampire is good. Here's a Blur Sliver. Pacifism, I think that's our second one, so that's good. Elvish Mystic, great for ramping. Voracious Worm. Blightcaster, another Enlarge. A Bog Brew Witch, and Junk. Okay. Well, I guarantee you we're playing Green Red Aggro. I mean, that that's happening. So let me... Let me sort these cards. I mean, I'll uh, sort these.
really I'm just going to sort the green and red out because, I mean, it's an absolute blowout. I'm going to side sort black and show you what we have in black because, or black and white maybe, because, or, you know, decent cards in black and white, I should say. Death Gaze Cockatrice is good. You know, you might want to look at playing, if you have sack outlets, you could play red black, which is really good. Um, that's a possibility here. We have a bubbling cauldron. Actually, I'm going to look at that as a possible too. Bubbling cauldron is just good. Yeah, we have some pretty good black cards here. I probably should have paused the video, but the green red, I mean, for black, notable stuff. Mine Rot's good, Quag Sickness is good, Curse Spirit is good, Bog Brew, Bog Brew Witch is, we have Bubbling Cauldron and we have Bog Brew, but we don't really have any Festering Newt, so. Mark of the Vampire is really, really good. I mean, Mark of the Vampire on top of a Curse Spirit or Death Gaze Cockatrice. We have some sack outlets here. Singer of Vampires, no, uh, no joke. Zothar Necromancer. Um, black White is out there, but I just think Green Red is, I mean, when you see what we've got going on for Green Red here, there's no doubt in my mind. What do we have? So we have a, streaking, a striking sliver, that's a maybe. Elvish Mystic, yes. Chandra's Outrage, yes. Academy Raider, yes. Megantic Sliver, yes. Shoes Embrace, yes. Advocate, Firecat, Battle Driver, Battle Sliver, Elvish Mystic. Maybe just one Academy uh, Raider, I wouldn't do two. Deadly Recluse is sick. Trollhide, Enlarge. I don't know if I'd put another Mystic, maybe. Voracious Worms, okay, but it's a, it's a maybe, really. Colonian Tusker, another Enlarge. Active Trees, I mean, you're just gonna blow people out. Spore Mount, Shock. Um, Voracious Worms a maybe. Spore Mound again is a maybe. It's not really aggro, um, in my opinion. So what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Damn, I'm good. Um, I would throw this in there, the Striking Sliver, just because we have quite a few slivers, and giving them first strike is a big deal. So um, let's go... Yeah, this is really good. I feel I feel really good about this deck. Um, one drops. We have a striking silver sliver, shock for removal. Um, ramping elvish mystic one, elvish mystic two, three elvish mystics. So maybe if I get in one of those games where like things are, you know, maybe I replace elvish mystics with something else. Two drops, we don't have much. We have the Colonian Tusker, which is probably the best two drop, but also Deadly Recluse, which is great. It's removal, you know. <laughs> uh, for three drops, we've got an Academy Raider, which is excellent. I mean, Academy Raider with a Shiv's Embrace on it is just great. Um, we've got Advocate of the Beast, which in this desk, deck only has one option to pump, and that's the Colonian Tusker, but at least it has an option. Uh, Regathan Firecat, which is great um, in some cases. Troll Hide, it's great with a Troll Hide on it, I'll tell you that much. Um, Blur Sliver, we've got a great here, an Active Treason. I mean, if you go and you lay like uh, the Firecat down, and then you Active Treason their blocker, or you swing for, eight, you're swinging for eight, six, eight, seven, six damage, you know, on turn three, turn four, I mean. So that's really, really solid. Four drops, the 
I don't think Spore Mound fits in this deck. Well, sometimes you just gotta do the best you can. Marauding Maulhorn is excellent. Giant Spider is very good as a four drop. Ogre Battle Driver, I mean, forget about it. Um, Shiv's Embrace, I mean, Shiv's Embrace is really important in this deck because you don't really have any flyers. And so if you get in a stagnation, you know, or you go stagnant, it can be an issue. But you do have two enlarges as five drops, which can, you know, get through if you're at board stable or you're board stalled. Um, I'm sorry, on a four drop, you also have a Chandra's Outrage. So you're going to want to be careful with your Chandra's Outrage slash Active Treason or Shock. I mean, because you don't have a ton of other removal. You have a Spore Mound as a 5-drop, a Battle Sliver, and a Megantic Sliver. So, hypothetically, you know, potentially you could have a 6, 7, 8, you know, an 8, 5. Check that, 8, 6, Megantic Sliver if you have both Slivers out. I actually love this deck, and it has the potential to just go bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> Because, I mean, you, you go Elvish Mystic turn one, even and then an, even let's just say an Elvish Mystic turn three. Okay, so you, you can tap for five already on turn three. So you're laying out your battle sl sliver on turn three, making that blur sliver uh, a four two, you know, or, and if you're streaking slivers out, it's four two first strike. I mean, you just see how this, this green red aggro deck builds itself in this particular episode of Sealed Saturdays. Maybe, uh, what would you guys have done different? Would you have gone with the black, with uh, Singer Vampires and Quake Sicknesses? Or, uh, I don't know, this deck seems pretty sauce. I mean, I feel pretty confident with this deck. Uh, but, you know, what do you guys think? Let me know if this was helpful, if hearing my thought process as I go through things, I hope that it was. And if it was, give that like button a crush right below the, the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you take a second to subscribe. And I look forward to chatting with you in the comment section down below. We'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists. Everything from MTG vlogs, gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.